in 10 years, is it sky's the limit for women? I'd like to believe it uh, is, me too, but, but I think part of it is, is the pipeline, is also the people who are in the seats, because a lot of what you'll find is sponsorship, um, seats at the table, people who can pound the table for you matter, and although there's more women than ever before, it's still not 50% women or you know 75% women if I had my way of the world. Right. Um, and so we're not there yet. And so I think it will change, but it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time for more women to sit in those roles, for more men to realize women wanna sit in those roles, for more daughters to arrive at mm -hmm. the table. The conversations I have with my male clients and my male colleagues around their daughters it's cool, really, right? it's cool, it's different. They want to make change for their daughters, even if they have a hard time in that translation, maybe with their wives or their sisters. It's an interesting psychological difference. If you don't talk about inclusion, if you don't change how it is, you're not going to get the best and brightest. So in a way where I think inclusion used to be something you talked about for brand purposes, inclusion is now so core to being a talent play, it is a completely different conversation. I also stepped into an area in our firm called social impact, and so I've spent the last year in our social impact practice where I help traditional companies grow and do good at the same time. The combination of those two roles has been amazing because it's about helping our women, but also helping people find purpose in their jobs. That's amazing. So I've had a great year. And I got to believe that is a huge seller when they, ha they interview Absolutely. people. Absolutely. It's a right? huge, I mean, we're seeing on campus that a lot of MBAs are actually focusing in I something called it. social impact. I Never existed it. five years ago.